Are you good? If not, let's get good. I'm good, and it's Friday night, so I'm playing Panoptica. And tonight we are going to be putting in a couple of overpasses and building an additional layer of industrial offices over in our industrial circle. So this is Panoptica, my Circular City series, and we have gotten pretty far. I think we only have three benchmarks left. Which is pretty incredible because I have, n well, when I started the series, I had never been past, oh, I don't know, maybe three or four. So this is pretty incredible for me. Okay, so now that I've cleared those out, I'm going to build our first overpass. These are kind of tricky to place, but once you get the hang of them, they're not too bad. So I'm going to put that there. And then we'll see how far down we can go with this before we need to stop. Looks like right about there. And then we just bring it down to line it up with that. No? No, it's not like in that. We have to cross first, I think. There we go. Awesome. And let's go make sure. Yeah, that's not too steep of a grade. That's pretty good. And what that's going to do is it's going to cause all of the traffic that is normally stuck in this area. This is the reason we're actually doing this. Okay, so you can see it's all green now. It's green because nobody's on it. But before that, this was all red. So we're doing this as a method to disperse traffic because these are rarely used roads. If we change it like this, everybody will have to use this to get between the different towns. But to do anything inside the town, they'll have to use these loops. So it'll disperse our traffic a little bit better. And that's going to help us with these negatives of people moving out because one of the main reasons they're moving out is because traffic is terrible. So I'm going to leave that one in for right now. We'll probably build another one over here in a second, but first I want to come over here and build another loop on our industrial area. Because we have a ton of industrial demand right now. So I believe should be about 60. Oh crud, I went straight. Whoops. I sometimes forget to switch to the curve line tool. I think the game is reading my mind, but it's not. So there we go. Now we have the correct tool. I am a tool. <laughs> and we will come over. Looks just about perfect. Now, I believe that when I was planning the episode, I found this was a little botched here. I think I have to go 58 instead of 60 to get the best outcome. Or actually, I think I ended up going around this way. That's what I did. So 60 and another 60. And then right here, it's going to end up being 58 to get the closest to perfect. Maybe we'll try 59, actually. Oh, 59 is perfect. It was just like one unit off. All right, I'm going to try 59 right here as well. Yeah, that's pretty close to perfect. Awesome. So that's actually a better outcome than I got when I was doing the preparation run earlier today. So I'm going to grab that because one of my viewers, uh, Asriel, was kind enough to point out that I could do this, which makes putting these zones down a lot faster than spraying. But I will come over and touch that up a little bit with spray. And actually, I'll pull a little bit off of that, too, just because I'm a bit of a perfectionist. And now that we've got those down, we need to check and make sure that we have enough water for everybody. We do not. And it looks like we also broke a power line in that process, so we'll have to make sure that the power gets rerouted. So I'm going to come down like this and just make sure that we cover all the water area. Same with over here. All right, so that should close that in nice and good. And then we need to make sure that our power is connected, so we'll do that. And I am going to come in. Oh, wait, I already sprayed down offices. Cool, so now we'll just set it free and see if they start growing. Awesome, we're getting new offices, and offices bring us a lot of money. As you can see, the number of population we're losing, uh, it's still bouncing around a little bit. It's not quite clear yet. I'm going to go ahead and build the ramp for this side now, 
because I think that's once again going to help out. I'm going to come in here. Why is it stuck in that view? Oh, okay. I was in the incorrect view for what I was trying to do. Remove, 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 remove. And one more. Oh, crud. I didn't mean to do that second one. Why is there no undo? Is there an undo? There is no undo. That is disappointing. It's not too big of a deal, though, because we just need to bring this back up. And I think it was right about there. No, it was actually a little bit further. I'm just going to bring it to there. We'll have to make that work. If we can. Uh, it's not looking like it's going to let us. I might have to back that up just a little bit. So we'll pull that back. And we'll start here and come up to right about there. And that should give us, yeah, that gives us enough room to get over. And that's exactly what we want. And then we'll just bring this all the way in as far as it'll let us right there. And then I think we just join. Yeah, that should do it. And let's take a look at the grade and make sure it's not too bad. Nope, that's a pretty smooth grade. And now we just let it loose and see what happens. Uh, it looks like we're having a trash issue, and I'm not sure why. Do we not have enough incinerator room? We do have enough incinerator room, but... Oh, it's probably because of the change to traffic flow. That'll fix itself. At least I hope it'll fix itself. I guess time will tell. It's taken a little while, though. Come on, guys. Get out there and get the trash. Uh, actually, you know what? I want to take a look at our holy... Okay, I have no idea how our bus system is running now. I think we're just going to have to scrap all the lines and basically start from scratch. That's kind of terrible. But it's actually not too bad because I think that the lines we put in are actually going to be fairly simple. Now that we're basically operating in circles, I think that's all I'm going to do is just make simple circles. And of course they will have to connect back. That's okay. Oh, I actually... I have an interesting idea that we might try with the highways. And it may not be something that we are able to completely finish this episode, but I think it'll be worth the wait if we have to wait one more for what I'm thinking we can do. Uh, that's actually an okay bus route still. Sort of. And there we go. So we've got only two good bus routes left here. And thankfully, it didn't screw up the bus routes everywhere. Oh, we don't even have buses running out to half of these circles. That's bad. Okay, so the bus routes were in need of a fix anyway. So for this area right here, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to lay bus routes down in a circle around the area. And that's pretty much all we're going to do. We're just going to basically connect a bunch of circles... And then once we've done that, we will make some interconnecting lines that bring all the circles together down here. And there we go. That should be just about it. Yep, there we go. That's all we're going to do. We're just going to make a bunch of circles. So I'll probably cut through this because it's going to take a second. But once it's done, I will bring you guys back in. Okay, so I'm back and I've cleaned up our bus lines a little bit. So we are going to take a look at how that affects our traffic flow. Wow, I don't think that made the traffic flow much better at all. And I'm not really sure that the underpass and the overpass helped. Well, it looks like it helped on this side a little bit, but it probably just hasn't dispersed over there yet. Jeez. We are, however, gaining people. We are positive on people again, which is a good thing. Except we're going negative on people again. Why are people unhappy? I know there's a way to check that. Uh, where is the unhappiness meter? Global happiness. Yes, I get that, but I want to see the thing that tells me why people are happy. Is it up here? I think it's up here. Well, at least to some degree it's up there. 
the commercial happiness is the lowest. And it looks like the commercial areas are having issues with not enough employed or uh, educated workers. Is that what that is? Oh, not enough customers. Interesting. They shouldn't have any issues with customers. We funnel everybody through this area. Is it that we need more residential? We have tons of room for residential growth. I am not sure what's going on, but I know it's not good. We are losing massive amounts of people now. What the heck? What did I do wrong? We were actually moving up and then something I did ruined it. It must have been the buses. When I rerouted the buses, it must have messed everything up. Uh, I'm going to take a look at some of our policies now and see if there's anything in here that could maybe help us out. Uh, we're getting messages about lost wallets. That's wonderful. Uh, incineration status is good. Crematorium is good. Everything seems to be good. I'm not entirely sure why we keep losing people. I have no idea. I know we could maybe increase property values. That might help. Let's take a look at doing some of that. And I'm wondering what increases values the most. It doesn't really say, I don't think. Yeah. It doesn't really say, so placing something is sort of just a general booster. Let's try putting something there. And maybe a little something up here. And probably over here. And a whole bunch of somethings over here to make the value go up a lot in this commercial area so that people start moving in. There we go. Maybe that'll help them out. It's funny because the... Actually, it's not funny. This is terrible. We should totally have some stuff here to make people... Or to increase the land values. Because this place has like no land value whatsoever and it has our biggest money makers on it, which makes no sense. But we're sitting in a million bucks right now too, so I'm not super worried about money. At this point, it's more about gaining population. And it seems like that helped a little bit, at least temporarily maybe, because it doesn't look like that bonus is holding. Uh, but I'm going to keep putting these down, because if it's helping, then why not? Okay, so now we are still losing people. This is rather sad. I don't know why we're losing people, and we're not going to hit the next benchmark if we're stuck going down. I don't know what to do differently. Okay, there we go. We're, we're gaining people now. Everything's sort of solidifying. Awesome. We are moving up. That's exactly what I wanted. And it's staying. It's staying fairly steady. It's bouncing around a little bit, but it's... Nope. Nope. Is it? Nope. Oh, it's going back up. Okay. Jeez, it's like the stock market. It's bouncing. Whoa, 27 is low. 27 is way low. Don't fall back down, guys. Stay back up. Uh, can we place some more stuff? Let's increase some more property values. All the property values everywhere need to be increased. And actually, that is increasing demand in all of our areas. That's kind of cool. I'm going to start placing some slightly bigger stuff, I think. And honestly, with as much money as we have, we can pretty much just pepper the places with this. To our benefit, of course, because we will then have tons and tons of land value. And I like that idea. Awesome. So now our offices are gaining a ton of land value compared to what they used to have, which is great. These low-density residentials don't get much land value from... Pretty much anything, it seems. Uh-oh. That's bad. That means we have a moratorium or a crematorium problem. Yep, we're starting to see bodies. That's not a good thing. Um, I'm going to come in and bump the budget for our trash up to 150%.
because we can afford it right now, and that should help us keep up with the bodies. I noticed this problem when I was planning for the episode. The bodies are, are a constant issue. But if you turn it up to 150%, it seems to be fine, which means if I placed a couple of additional crematoriums, it would probably be okay too. Oh yeah, there's not a whole lot of coverage over here. Uh, and now that we've changed the road structure, coverage does not work quite the same either. But that seems rather effective, and so does that. Okay, that's a good idea. We'll put two crematoriums, and that should cover that entire side and most of this side, and we should be able to get the rest of this side with something placed like maybe uh, we're still gonna have a dead spot in there but that's okay and i'm gonna check how it looks for our offices and everything those are all fairly nope this one could use a little additional coverage so i'll put one there that should help out overall with the bodies and we're still having body signs which is bad is this a traffic issue? Oh, would you look at that? The traffic kind of dispersed a little bit. So now it's red in a lot more places, but it's a lot less dense of a red, which is a good thing. As you can see, it gets really dense right here because these roads don't line up, which is kind of sad. We may actually have to go in and fix that because the reason they didn't line up originally was because we had a larger structure here that we don't need to have there anymore. In fact, now that our cemeteries are empty, we can start destroying those building isn't empty. Oh, okay. Well, then I guess we won't destroy it. Where's that one at? It's got 461 dead bodies left. This one's got 345. And is that the third one? That's the third one. And they've got zero. Okay, so we can actually destroy that one. They are clean, which means goodbye cemetery. All right, guys, so we have built a couple of overpasses. We rerouted all the buses. We built a bunch of or crematoriums. I keep saying mortuaries. And we are on the up and up. We are moving up to the next objective. That's going to be it for this episode. Thank you for watching, and please game responsibly.